everyone and welcome so today i would like to show you uh, how you can make a agent walk on walls on vertical walls okay so first i i, I want to give you a quick demonstration so you'll see this um, this alien uh it turns around and walks on the wall and gets to its objective the goal uh, which is the blue cube okay uh so pretty simple um now, how is this structured? Well, first, um, the requirements. Um, you can't do this. You cannot do this with the standard navigation system. Okay, you can't just bake it as you would do with a nav mesh on a terrain. Okay, so what you need is you need to download from the Unity GitHub repository. You need to download this nav mesh components. I will link the repository in the description below so you can find it. Now, what this gives you is actually a set of um, scripts that uh, allow you um, to have a custom navigation or nav mesh generation system. Okay, so. Uh, this is well very roughly um explained you know um basically you have uh different tools that allow you to uh build an app an av mesh essentially okay and you you have tools that allow you to customize your nav mesh in, in a bit more in, in, in a more detailed way so i'll show you how this is constructed so this is made up by a floor uh, a wall and then if you closely look a nav, mesh, a nav mesh link between the wall and the floor okay that's all there is to it nothing more okay so what you do if you want to construct this so you have to do the following because it's it's not that straightforward uh well there, there is there is a trick there is a bit of a trick okay so what you do is let, let's construct something that is very similar just beside this okay so you would have uh once again we can make a cube um let's let's scale it a bit in the x a bit in the z you know to have something similar so we would have this cube um and then what we do is we add a nav mesh surface now this nav mesh surface you only have it if you downloaded the nav mesh components that I linked below, okay? And you actually brought it into your Unity project. Now, I added this. This nav mesh surface is now a component present on this game object, on this queue. What you want to do is you want to go to collect objects and you want to set volume. Now, volume basically, uh, so th this collect objects decides uh, on what game objects to bake the nav mesh. Okay, so what game objects are going to be considered for the nav mesh baking? Now, you want to do it uh, ideally only for the object that you you made. Okay, you you need to do it for this single object. So object by object. Then what you can do is you can set the volume a a however you like. You can you can you know you can scale it a bit, uh, but it, it, I mean the only difference that it will make is that if you if you make it too small like this okay if you make it a bit too small and then you press bake then you you will only have the uh nav mesh on this part we don't want that we want it on the whole uh surface so what we do is we just we just increase the z and we we bake again and now we have it now here is the trick now that you have this uh what you can do as you can see is actually you can move the nav mesh okay now if you add a terrain and you bake the nav mesh and you wouldn't be able to move around the terrain uh, with the nav mesh you know the, the the nav mesh would stay fixed in one position however this system allows you to bring the nav mesh kind of wherever you want and the nice thing is that it also allows you to rotate the nav mesh so if i rotate by 90 degrees with respect to the z axis now we have a vertical wall with an av mesh on it pretty simple right now what you can do is re you can essentially duplicate this uh put it to zero so remove the um remove the rotation uh you won't have the nav mesh baked on it so you will have to bake it again so you go here and 
you bake it again for this one then you can bring it as close as you as you like to the other wall you know like something like this more or less i guess yes Okay, it's a bit of it's a bit rough, but yeah, you get the idea. And finally, what you can do is on one you can decide which one. I will take um, this cube. Um, on one of them, uh, so either this cube or this cube, uh, you have to add another component, which is the nav mesh link. So this is like an off mesh link. Uh, not, um, uh, oh my god, what is it called? Um, off mesh link is it called off mesh no it's not called off mesh link anyway um essentially you know it, it's the component that in the standard navigation system is required to uh, allow you to jump from one nav mesh to another nav mesh which is not connected to it okay now what you can do is you can actually take these two cubes and you can manually place them close to um close to the two um the two different nav meshes so this is the first one and then you got you get the second one and you can see that i placed it like this and then what you can do is so basically the, the first cube uh this should be the starting point oh no okay it doesn't really matter um as long as you have bidirectional here set to on it doesn't matter which cube goes on which nav mesh it doesn't matter at all if you have unidirectional so if you take if you take this off the alien or the, the 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 agent will only be go will only be able to go in one direction but it won't be able to come back so i will just let leave bidirectional set to one anyway uh there is also width so if you increase the width you can see that you can actually increase the um the width of the um the off mesh link and you can clearly see that the off mesh link um if it's uh, uh i think if it's light blue it means that it has a, a target it's working it's actually connecting the two nav meshes but yeah you can see right here now it's not blue anymore so it's not connecting anything so it's not the the the, the nav mesh link is not working so if i go down you can see it becomes blue so now it's working again it's connecting the two nav mesh links so you can put them actually wherever you want on the two nav meshes depending on how you put them the the actual agent will travel on this surface to from one um, um nav mesh to the other uh, i i usually like to put put them quite close to the to the uh yeah to the edges uh and there you go you have it um so you can spawn your agent either here or there um and then uh basically what you can do is you can you know place a goal uh, a target on the other side and you can do exactly the same thing as i did right there pretty simple right so this is how you make agents walk on walls thank you for watching and uh, see you next time if you have any type of questions just feel free to leave them below in the comments Bye bye. So before I forget, uh, I would like to um, point out that um, there you you can have a small issue, or it's it's a, actually an undesired effect uh, um, of the agent while it's walking on the wall. So as you can see here in the demonstration, the alien walks close to the wall. And then when it approaches the wall, you will see that right now it's pointing in the right direction. So it's pointing forward exactly towards the target. But as soon as it goes on the wall, you see the alien basically turned sideways and then slowly turns again towards the wall, the, the goal. Now this shouldn't happen. The reason why apparently it's happening is uh, because the um the actual obstacle avoidance radius so the agent radius is actually too large now it's not this value this is already the small value uh i had a value of one 
uh, and with that value of 1, it was causing that issue. With a value of 0 0.1, it actually solved my issue. So if you have this same kind of behavior, try to reduce your obstacle avoidance uh, radius, and you should be getting uh, better results. So you should be getting the, the actual agent always looking towards the uh, right direction, even during the uh, tra after trans the, transla the translation uh, across the NavMesh link.